the problem statement is here in this particular folder we have list of all these files so these are nothing but the price list of bitcoin in each of the years so if you open this all these files you would get this kind of list so if you see all the high all the red boxes are indicating these file names right and in all of these files if you see you have the price list for each of the months separately now here our problem statement is to fetch the june and july worksheet from each of the year and have it consolidated in separate file something like this so here we have another location and in that we should have another file created named as price list june and july so if you open this particular file it will look something like this and if you see at this particular column so you would realize that it would have only the data for june and july if you don't rely it for example you can just take a summary now if you see here you have the data for june and july only for each of the years for each of the available years so this is the problem statement in a nutshell that means in a particular folder you might have list of multiple excel files and you're gonna pick specific sheet from each of the excel file and consolidate them all together so this is the problem statement in a nutshell which we are going to fix today okay so let's try to do this and let's jump to the jupyter notebook to get this done now here we are in jupyter notebook so we can divide this task in two groups in two parts first one is list down all the excel files from given folder okay so i'll just see if i have the folder allocation copied no it is not over here so what i'll do is i'll just copy it from here here i have that particular thing written so what i'm going to do is first we need to get the list of all the libraries sorry all the excel files available in that particular location so for that we're going to use the os li os library here if you see i have already imported the os library so os library i will be using over here so let's say files equals to os dot list dir and in that i will give the location where i have all the files testing and let me show you the files what all are the files that we have so here we go so whatever files we had in testing folder those all are listed over here this was the first task which we have achieved now the next thing which comes over here is import specific sheets from all the excel files and consolidate them into one so that's something which we are going to do over here that's going to be little bigger but it's going to be very simple trust me that so first what we're going to do is we will go in each of this excel file and pick the sheet names whatever sheet names we have in each of these excel files and then from those list of sheets we will pick the data we will pick only june and july worksheets so let's start one by one let's first go to each of these excel files for that what we're gonna do is we'll just say for file in files so this loop will take you to each of the file available in this particular list next step is list down the sheets available in each of this particular file how are we gonna do that for that we will say sheets equals to pd dot excel file okay and from here we are just going to use this particular location only because we have the files available over here now in it what we're going to do is we will just open this each of the files right so we need to concatenate that so file now it is concatenated over here hmm? the next thing which we're going to do is make it a list right so i would say my work sheets let's say my work sheets equals to 
sheets dot sheet names let me try to see let me try to print this if this works There's some problem no? since we're testing after testing we just need to put a forward slash here we go now here you have list of all the sheets available in this particular excel file available in each of the particular excel file perfect so let me just remove this because this is not needed at all okay now we have the list created what next we're gonna do is we will loop through each of the sheet so for that we're gonna say because we have the list in each of the excel file now we need to look look through each of the sheets and find june and july for sheet in my worksheets what we're gonna do is if sheet dot starts with starts with june uh, and i will just copy this or the same start with july j u l that's all we need to do right if it happens then all that we need to do is we will import that particular data pd dot read excel what is the location where we have this particular data this is the location from this location pick the particular file all right and from here we need to just read that particular sheet name okay and here we will just say sheet hmm? for that particular that particular sheet only we need to pick so this will import the data for june and july from each of these excel files and it will store that in df but we need to consolidate them so to consolidate them first we will create a blank data data frame final df pd dot data frame this is it so this that file uh, this blank data frame is created over here now all that we need to do is just keep on appending that final df equals to final df dot append and in that we will just append the data frame whatever is identified over here so we'll just recheck this uh, okay first let's complete this so once it is done then we will just export this final df dot to excel and the location which need to do give over here is combined combined this is the location which we are going to use to export this particular data right and price list for june and july we will just check in this particular folder if we have anything or not right if we have to be on safer side we will just replace that okay but before that let me just complete this syntax here as usual i will just say index equals to false right index equals to false because i particularly don't like that right if you want if you can give the sheet name also let's execute this and see if this is going to give you an error i don't know if this might give you an error or might be successful let's try this oh it didn't give you any error so let's jump to the particular folder well so here we are in this particular folder this was the output location and this is the file which we just created right now let's open this and try to validate if this has the data for june and july only right so that we can validate using this particular column what we can do is we can just run a pivot on this right and then just pick this one put it away here here we go now you can see we have the data for only june and july from each of the valuable years so this is how you can solve this particular problem i just hope that you liked it it was clear to you just in case if you have any doubt do not hesitate to put that into the comment section if you really like this video do not hesitate to share it with your friends this will help 
YouTube to create the algorithm and suggest this particular video to all those people who need it and also do not hesitate to give a thumbs up and subscribe the channel. Thanks once again. Wish you all the best.